Hey everyone, Chris from CK Cycles here. Well, it's time to get the cylinder and the cylinder head cleaned up uh, in order to get new parts installed and to get them installed back onto the engine. I'm going to start here with the cylinder head. I'd really like to get the exhaust circuit cleaned out. Uh, the exhaust circuit is, is pretty caked up. Uh, the exhaust valve was fouled out and, and clogged and so I think that was one of the main issues with this engine. So in order to do that I'm going to use uh, mechanical means and I'm going to th uh, throw my uh, cylinder head here in my ultrasonic cleaner. Now it won't quite fit so I'll have to kind of move it around a little bit but I'd really like to get a little heat on this with some solution working through it. On the cylinder here um, there's remnants of the base gasket and the top gasket which I would like to get cleaned off. So while this thing is soaking, I'm going to work on scraping some gaskets. Alrighty, so the uh, ultrasonic cleaner I think worked very well. I mean it's too small. I had to move my head around and take it out and scrub it and put it back in and move it around. But I am pretty happy with the cleaning on the exhaust circuit here in the head. And look at that water. I would say that was a uh, successful cleaning. I think it's now time to get this over to my parts washer and to finish the cleanup of the head. Meanwhile, the cylinder is on its final soak down and scrape for the base gasket. Then it'll be time to clean this thing up. All right, so cylinder head is all clean and it is looking pretty good. I was able to get my gasket surface nice and clean and when I cleaned the uh, gasket surface on my cylinder, I'll show you how essentially I cleaned this one the same way. But in this step, what I would like to do is to get my valves lapped in, make sure that my valve springs are still within tolerance, install the new uh, valve seal. I think there's only a seal on the exhaust valve on this bike. Uh, and, and get the head all ready to go so it can be installed once I have the cylinder prepared.
So this engine only has a valve seal on top of the exhaust valve guide. Getting that seal clipped down onto that guide, it can be kind of tricky at times, and I wish I could give you a better view, but I think my fingers are gonna take up most of the room. I'm gonna use just a little bit of this kind of sticky yet slippery assembly lube on top of the valve guide here. Then what I like to do is get a small screwdriver, put my valve seal uh, on the screwdriver and then put the tip of my screwdriver down into the valve guide and let the uh, seal slide down and then hopefully push it off and get it clipped on. May take a few tries though. But that assembly lube is sticky enough that the valve seal is just sticking to the top of the valve guide. Now I gotta push it on evenly. Oop, and there it went. Hopefully you heard it click. Okay. Washers for the valve springs. There's a washer for the uh, outer spring and a washer for the inner spring. Okay. I think we are ready for our valves. And actually, before I put them in, I am going to put just a little bit of lube on the valve sealing surfaces that is uh, I would say raw metal so you know it may be a few weeks before I run this engine so I want to make sure those don't uh, get rusty and I'm going to put a little lube on the valve shaft as well Might be a little smoky when it starts up the first time, but that'll be okay. Good. All right. Both valves in. Sliding good. Valve spring time. Valve springs, these are progressive, so the tighter coil goes down towards the head. And this came off the intake valve. I think the springs are all the same, but I'll put them back on the way they came off. This is the valve spring cap. Sometimes I put that, you know, on the valve spring and, and then I try and fish the retainers in and around. But I'm gonna try this this time. Pre-installation of the retainers in the cap. Then I'll set the cap on top of the valve and the springs and just push it a little bit to see if those will seat uh, just in a, a preparation uh, position that then I can put my spring compressor on there. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, well that's not going to help. Okay, well I don't know if you can see that. But they're just sitting perfect right there. Let's see if we can get this uh, Compressed. Well, I was having a really hard time getting my valve retainer clips uh, seated on my valve. Um, <clears throat> I tried to set them in there, whack it with a hammer, they would just pop out. I tried to use my valve compression tool over on my bench, and I just couldn't do it. So I ended up having to clamp my valve compressor uh, here in my vise and I kind of use that as a third hand 
so that then I could sit here and work to get the clips in um, while this was held in my vise. This is a pretty, uh, you know, not a very big vise, so I didn't want to walk away from this setup uh, because certainly, you know, last thing I want was for my head to uh, fall on the ground. That would not be good. But that's how I ended up getting my valve springs back installed. So these are the rockers themselves. The pad here rides along the camshaft and then pushes down on this side and pushes down on your valve, right? So something to pay attention to. Oh, it's in there. Tend to be a bit of a snug fit. There we go. So the rocker will be fed in like this. This is your rocker shaft, and that ro rocker shaft will be fed in like this. And it'll hold the rocker in place. And you can see the uh, hole that the shafts ride through. Now there's relief in this shaft right here. And that is because this shaft passes right by one of the head uh, mounting studs that stick up. So essentially there's a stud that sticks up so when this rocker shaft goes in and we install the head, right, that uh, there's a relief here for the uh, stud. So let's get this installed. Put just a little bit of assembly lube on it here. can be kind of nasty stuff, but... I think I've used oil as well, but I've got some of this lube left over from a go-kart engine I built. So we'll use it. And that'll go. I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but I'll show you when it's done here. Okay. But I don't have the relief in place yet. I got to get this turned. Right about like that. Okay. And there's also a notch right here because the, the uh, rocker shaft has a retaining clip that indexes right there as well. I might need to turn it just a little bit more. Okay. Now I'll get the other one installed and we'll get the clip on.
installed and the reliefs are in the correct place and the retaining clip is in place. Alrighty, so that'll be it for uh, getting the uh, valves cleaned up, valves reinstalled into the cylinder head. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I think the bike's going to run very well with the uh, freshening up here of the cylinder head. In the next video, uh, I am going to be working on the cylinder. I'm going to get it honed out. We're then going to get the piston and new rings reinstalled onto the crankcase there and get the cylinder installed along with the uh, camshaft and the cam chain and then also get the cylinder head on. So we'll see you next time.